Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I have gone and done it again. I said I was going to be consistently filming throughout this pregnancy and uploading videos, but of course it has been three months since I posted the last video and I am so annoyed with myself about that, but life happens and I'm here now, so let's get into this video. In the last video I uploaded, I did the old wife's tale and a sneak peek gender results. And I had mentioned how I wasn't confident in the results because of all of the negative reviews I have heard about sneak peek being wrong. So a few weeks later, I went and got an elective ultrasound, which confirmed that sneak peek was right and I am having a boy. So for everybody asking in the comments on the last video, I finally am updating you guys. Yes, it is a boy. If you follow me on any social media, you will have already known that. But yes, sneak peek was accurate I'm having a boy um, my 20 week ultrasound also confirmed that he is a boy and as you can imagine from the last video it's been three months so a lot has gone on a lot has changed I am 28 weeks today and here's a little bump date As you can see, my belly has definitely grown from the last video. This has definitely been the most difficult of my three pregnancies, but at the same time, I can't complain too much because overall it's been fine. I just have a lot of pains that I didn't have with the other two, especially this early, like my back hurts constantly and my whole pelvis area aches all day long. But that's more my fault because I have put on 40 pounds already in 28 weeks, which seems crazy. I did gain a good amount of weight with the other two, but definitely not as fast as I did this one. So I know that has a lot to do with the pains that I'm having. So there's a lot that I want to share and talk about. So I had my 20 week anatomy ultrasound and I wasn't due to see my OB until four weeks after that. So I got the full like results via email and I was left alone with just the notes from the that the ultrasound tech took with no explanation. And in the results, it said that he was measuring in the 99th percentile. And I was like, oh gosh, here we go, another huge baby. So I posted in my mom's group on Facebook asking if that's any indication that he will for sure be a big baby if he's measuring in the 99th percentile now. And I got all kinds of answers, of course. But then there was something concerning that somebody commented. In the screenshot that I had posted, um, it had said marginal cord insertion. And I had no idea what that was. Like I had read that, but I just skimmed past it. And um, somebody commented and said, what did your doctor say about your marginal cord insertion? I haven't had a chance to speak to mine yet. And I was like, huh? I had no idea that was something abnormal. So I, of course, went down the Google rabbit hole, which was the worst thing to do. And so I found that marginal cord insertion occurs in a nine out of 100 pregnancies. And essentially what it is, is typically the umbilical cord attaches to the placenta in the middle. And that's how the baby gets all of its nutrients and blood flow and everything. Well, with marginal cord insertion, it means that the umbilical cord is attached like to the side on the thinner area of the placenta. It can cause lack of blood flow, lack of nutrients to the baby, it can restrict their growth and cause preterm labor, low birth weight. And during labor, when they deliver the placenta, they have to be careful not to pull the cord because it can detach easier and cause hemorrhaging and all of this stuff that Google scared the living crowd out of me. So a few days later, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I emailed my OB since I wasn't due to see her for another four weeks. And I was like, hey, I read the notes. It said everything was normal, but I am concerned about this marginal cord insertion. And she basically replied back and said that it's not as scary as Google makes it seem and she has had many patients that have had this and there hasn't been any complications with either one. And the only thing extra that they do is an extra growth scan at 32 weeks to make sure the baby is growing fine. I also brought up the fact that he's in the 99th percentile and I was hoping that means that he definitely is getting all of the nutrition all of the nutrients that he needs and is growing okay. She assured me that yes, that is correct. So that is that, everything is good. He's healthy, he's growing, he is moving like crazy. I have an interior placenta, I did with my last two pregnancies as well. So I didn't start feeling his kicks until about 22 weeks, but now at 28 weeks, I feel him all day long and I love it. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is his name. So we had two names that we loved. Ultimately, we decided on the name Rhett, Angelo. Angelo is my dad's middle name, so we knew his middle name was going to be Angelo either way. But between the two first names we had, 
we chose Rhett. So we announced his name on social media. We had been referring and talking to him as Rhett for a few weeks. And there was at some point Shane and I were calling him Rhett and something, it just didn't feel right to either of us. We were like, I don't think that's the name for him. So we then bounced back to our other name that we absolutely loved. We just weren't sure if it was too different. So we went back and revisited that name and we agreed that we wanted to use this name. So his official name has been in the video this whole time right behind me. His name is... Banks Angelo. I had originally said I didn't care to stick with B names for all of my children, but it just so happens that the one and only name that we absolutely love starts with a B. So now we have Brielle, Bentley, and Banks, and Banks just seems to fit so perfect. I can already picture him, and we just feel completely content with that. So that's going to wrap up the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and following along. So for everybody in the comments who has been wanting and asking for an update, here it is. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Ooh.